Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is. Yeah, KGR, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, you're quite welcome. Please consider subscribing. Shout out to Brooklyn. Let's spread love in Brooklyn way. Anyway, what we have here is a 2020 21. It's a Chevy Equino 1.5 liter. Turbo. Apparently, there's a code that came up on the car, which I'm going to share with you in a moment. I already diagnosed it already, but uh, I don't have time to show all of that because there's uh, a lot of things that is going on in the workshop. I'm busy. So, anyway, the first code is uh, code P0327. P0327. Knock sensor. One. Bank one. And the other one is a P0330 Nog Sensor Bank 2. So this car is, is a, is a four-cylinder, but apparently it used two Nog Sensor. Here is Bank 1 and there is Bank 2. Listen to this very carefully now. There is Bank 1 and there is Bank 2. Though it's a four-cylinder, but it used two Nog Sensor. The P0327 is the number one. That one is just going to be above the starter right there. I'll bring you guys and show you where that one is located. But the bank two, the P0330, that one is in a hidden place. <laughs> hidden place, what I mean? Hidden place, hidden place. You cannot see it. It's right by the alternator. So to do this job, the alternator must have to come out to get to the second sensor. That's the one that I'm stretching. But the number one you can get there. This car has a 71,000 miles. Sometimes you wonder, new car like this, how come it? But it is what it is. But having said that, I'm going to bring you guys along and show you where the knock sensor is located. Uh, not to forget, if you're going to change this, uh, make sure you buy it. I will really stress that. Make sure you buy it from the dealer. We're buying it from the dealer. That's the part number right there. Hold on. Make sure you guys see it. Yep. That's the part number right there. Right there. That's the part number right there. So they're both the same uh, thing. So anyway, they're the same thing. That's the two. I'm changing the two. It's the same part number. You know, they are the same. So is about $45. What? Yes, you're right, 45 bucks. You buy it, you change it, your problem will be gone. I wouldn't advise you to buy it from any other place, you know, cause these are electrical thing. Anything electrical, you know, cause I remember I do change one, one time. I got, I got burned out, so I have to go to a guy, get it from the dealer. I think it was Akira MDS, you know. I end up buying it from the dealer. Anyway, that's it, and I'm gonna bring you guys along and show you where it's located and then what it's gonna to take to do this. I haven't said that, KG, you know my slogan. Let's go. We getting it right now. Big Shirley. Right? Big Shirley. Hey girl, how you doing? So as you can see, I took off the tire because the alternator is gonna be around here. So I have to disconnect the battery. So this, uh, this video is not all about how to take off the alternator. It's how we're gonna take care of that knock sensor, though we have to move the alternator. Once I do all of that, take off the belt and all of that, I will bring you guys back and show you where that sensor is located. And at the same time, I will show you the top one too. All right, we'll be right. All right, so there's a heat sheet right here, right? See, there's a heat sheet coming up there covering the alternator that e shade has to come out before we can take off the alternator like i said before this video is not how to take off the alternator but to get to where that or uh, uh, that uh, that knock sensor is so let me take off that now okay, so, see that? So, 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 so. 
now we can be able to see the ordinary when when i take out the ordinary then i will show you where that knock sensor is okay kg be right back so as you can see you see where the the sensor tool is located it's right there so i took out the ordinary like i said previously see the alternator is held by just uh, three thirteen both so that's the sensor right there so without you taking off the the alternator you can't be able to get to that number two uh sensor so the other one the number one sensor is inside i'll try to show you guys but let me go ahead and replace this first then i will show you guys the number one sensor it's just further down the number two is the one that is much uh a little difficult to get to because you have to remove all those uh, stuff that is. so let me go ahead and take out this then i'll bring you guys back we're doing it stay tuned all right so like i was showing previous previously so this is the new sensor and this is the old one and like i said make sure you buy it from the from the dealer there's a number that comes with it too See the number is written there so one thing i love about it is a boat right there so you have a little rubber so that this boat will not fall off so it'd be easy for you to thread it on you got two pin let's see put the old one back in here we're we'll gonna go ahead now and uh, install this one uh the connector i'll show you what i did to take out the connector and then we so that's the connector right here so there's a there's a red tab right here so all you need to do is push that red tab back then you squeeze it and you pull it back so supposing you're having a, a hard time after you pull up that red tab it's not coming up it just look like a peck you put it underneath and you'll be able to take it out okay so let me connect that and uh, i'm bringing you guys back okay gee, stay tuned all right, so I'm gonna show you where the number one sensor is located. Like I said before, I just uh, finished with the with the, the number two sensor. So let me go ahead now and show you. See, if you look down here, ah, no, the light is gonna be on my way. I'll try to get this light up though. So if you look down here, above there, you see that red tab there? Okay, I believe I can get it now. So right there. That's where the number one sensor is located, good view. Right there, that's the number one sensor. So the number one sensor, you don't need to take out anything. It's just right above the starter that you can come through the top to take it off. But the number two, like I said before, which is right there, that one, you have to take off the alternator. So anytime you see that code P0330, you know it's the number two, so you don't miss uh, replacing the wrong sensor. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then I'll bring you guys back. KG, stay tuned. Don't skip the channel. Yeah, probably, bro. All right. So this is the connector for the... You see that connector right there? That's where the number one, the bank one sensor is going. Obviously, I have a lot of work. I can't be able to show that. But the connector is right there. It's right in the middle. This job that you're going to do is by feeling. You can't see it. You have to feel it. Once you feel it, you can be able to, you can be able to do it. The good thing about it, you see the knock sensor, it comes out with a boat, so you don't have to be afraid that it's something is gonna drop. So my advice to you, if you can connect it before you screw it in, that will be much better, okay? Just see where my hand is, that's where it's going. It's very easy, by feeling, you got it? KG. So there's no way I could video that because uh, where the sensor is by feeling. But look at this mirror right here. I'm gonna show you. You're gonna see the sensor. See the sensor right there? If you look through the mirror, you see right there. That's the sensor right there. So it's in now. Everything is in. Okay, I hope you can see it right there. The connector, everything is there. So that's the sensor right there. Put it in already. But there's just no way, all right? I can video that at the same time, you know, I'm working on it. But you see the sensor is in, everything is good to go. So, 
Okay, so that would be pretty much on it on this job here. Yeah? Uh, I wish I could have shown more. I would have loved it. But if you do have any questions, do not hesitate. Like I said, I'm here to help you save money and all of that. But while I'm doing my part, the only thing I'm asking you to do for me is to sus uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like video, share the video, and that is all I'm asking. I would really appreciate that. But until next time, God bless you really good. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. And above all, may he be gracious to you. All right, KG, sign up. See you next time on my next episode. Peace. I am God.